In today's video, we're gonna to attempt to break the world record for the world's largest remote control paper airplane. Today, we have a fun little project going. A fun big project, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually pretty big. So last yeah. time, you guys probably remember, we made these awesome paper airplanes uh, that were not only really cool RC, but honestly, I, I think I had just as much, if not more fun, just chucking this thing like yeah. a glider. It was one of those things, honestly, you guys can do at home with your kids, and it, it's incredibly affordable and incredibly easy to do, and they're durable. Yeah, they fly great, too. So today, what we're gonna be doing is we're taking this concept, and as you guys know, we love to do this, is we're scaling it up yeah. big, but not just big, we're gonna be breaking the world record, or at least what we believe is the world record. Yeah. This guy, awesome guy on YouTube, uh, we'll put a link down to his video below. Uh, it's it's pretty old, I think it's like five or six years yeah. old now, but he did the world record largest RC paper airplane. Yes. Not just paper airplane, but RC paper airplane. Yeah. And today we're gonna be breaking it. So looking on the internet, we found this crazy monstrosity that's much bigger than what we're gonna build, but it was actually a free flight paper airplane that weighed like 800 pounds that they had to tow up with a helicopter. And like at watching it, I don't think it even really flew. They just like showed it like kind of flying, but yeah. they never really- Yeah, they just kind of nose dive. Yeah. But there's a lot of really cool, huge paper airplane projects on YouTube, both RC and free flight. So, so how big are we talking here, Josh? This we're thing talking, huge. We're talking about a 12 and a half 12 foot length and about a six foot wingspan so not absolutely the biggest thing we've ever built before but I think its presence in the air is gonna be really cool and the cool thing about it too is we want it to have the same characteristics as what we flew yeah. in the first episode where it just has that natural airplane so instead of doing monster motors we're gonna go with our traditional C packs and try to make this thing super light super floaty and hopefully look like you know we're like six inches tall if you know how to make a paper airplane you can literally draw the lines to make one of these yourself and Josh, what you did is you blew it up gigantic. Yep. And because our foam sheets are only so big, we basically tiled it across a bunch of sheets, laid it out here. We're gonna be kind of stitching those together with yep. tape and hot glue, and it's gonna be forming our airframe. This foam is so thick that we can't just like cut a bevel and crush it over because it's really strong. So what we have is we have a double thickness of foam, and this is gonna fold over. Noah's over here making another channel. And then this is gonna be the top fold making this part here. So this is gonna fold over nice and clean, and then this part's gonna fold down so it looks just like a real paper airplane. It looks awesome, man. I think the, the, my favorite part about this project is it literally, people say, how did you build this giant paper airplane? It literally folds together like a regular paper airplane. The only difference is this isn't paper, this is paperback foam. So there's foam in the middle, and so he's channeling this out to get it to fold over like paper. <laughs> But the nice thing about the foam core board is it's gonna add a certain level of rigidity, which is really important for airframes, especially when it's gonna be this heavy. With a paper airplane, it's so small and light that it doesn't need to be completely rigid. It has enough rigidity just in normal paper to make it fly. Can I help you? So this shouldn't have much pressure against it, but look at that now. Oh, that's awesome. Just like the whole paper cut. Yeah. Of course, I still don't wanna get hit by it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think, just like the other thing, we should probably try to at least, at least test glide this before we go too crazy. You chuck it? Don't chuck it! A little, little yeah, I don't know how you're going to throw <laughs> this 12 foot airplane, but we'll try it. <laughs> All right, so before we attempt to break this world record, I wanted to take the time to tell you about our sponsor for this episode, and that is our friends over at NordVPN. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with NordVPN, NordVPN is a virtual private network which allows you to browse the internet safely without having to worry about getting your data hacked. A couple cool things specifically about NordVPN is it has super fast servers, actually 5,500 in over 60 countries. You can unlock Netflix and your favorite entertainment websites no matter where you go. It's got a 30 day money back guarantee and it protects your data while you're traveling. So one of the coolest things, it protects data while you're traveling in public and on the go. So if you're in an airport or you're at a coffee shop using the public Wi-Fi, you don't need to worry about your data getting into the wrong hands. NordVPN uses no data logging and it also has 24 seven customer support. It also has a cybersecurity suite which acts as an ad blocker it works pretty much everywhere, including China, and it can utilize up to six simultaneous connections so you can use all your devices at once. Another cool thing is it has double data encryption for increased anonymity. It has unlimited bandwidth, automatic kill switch, peer-to-peer -peer sharing is allowed. NordVPN is the only VPN to get all the green checks from PC Magazine. So here's the best thing about all of this is right now, if you click our link below and use our coupon code, you can actually get 70% off right now, which works out to being $349 per month. Plus on top of that, you get an additional month for free. So again, that's nordvpn.com slash flight test. Use the coupon code flight test and you'll get 70% off 
$349 a month plus an additional month for free. So thanks to all of you out there watching and also thanks for NordVPN for sponsoring this video. It's truly because of them that we're able to do what we do. So we got a world record to break. Let's get back to it. All right, so we have all of our pieces for the first half of the glider made. And what we're doing is we're basically recreating this portion on this half here. So we have the bevel on the bottom, the fold over, and then the bevel on the top here. And what that creates is this. So there's our center section. And then this is basically our half of the wing. So now we have an unfolded nice over edge. But what we got to do is we got to get this angle to match this angle. The easiest way to do that is just take the glider we want and keep on increasing this bevel until I can push this up hard against it and it fits flush. So this is actually our angle guide. The small glider will help us establish the angles on the big glider. Dude, you gotta pick this up. I'm gonna pick this up. So this is one half? This is this is one half. It's kind of Dang. Crazy, isn't it? Just, Dude, she's I'm, floaty, bro. So what's your, I'm bet, what's you your chances if we do two C motors? What you, what's your odds that you think it'll fly well off a of two C pack? I would say that two C pack motors, based on how floaty it is, okay. I think I think if they're in the right spot and you got the right CG, I think I think you'll be fine. It's so float. Yeah. I was just doing this and yeah. it's just catching everything. So right? what we're talking about right now is if you look over here, that's our Master Series P38. That runs off of two C motors and it's like a 58 inch wingspan, something around there. This, this is 12 feet long and we're thinking we're gonna power it with the same power plant. And I agree with you. I think it's gonna be so slippery. Like, I yeah. don't think it'll be a problem. No, I think, I think we'll be, I think we'll be golden. Yeah. All right, friends, new day, new morning. And unfortunately, I am down my favorite wingman, Alex. He is under the weather today, but we have some good weather right now and we got to push ahead before the next winter storm hits. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the second half, hopefully getting this ready to fly by the end of the day. My son Noah is going to be coming later on after school and we're going to get this thing flying today. First thing I need to do is I need to glue the other half of the plane together. All right, what you got going on here, JB? All right, so there's no way that we're going to be able to put enough hot glue down to be able to make these two sides join and be strong at the same time. So what we're using is Super 77. This is something we use a lot of different times, whether it's making templates or whether it's just doing big projects like this. I'm going to squirt Super 77 on both sides of the surface. I already marked my line. And then I'm going to go back with hot glue and then trace the perimeter. And that way, with Stefan, when you help me kind of get this over, we can have a nice strong glue joint. This is the last piece, and then we're ready to join the two halves together. That's sweet. Let's do it. All right. All right, thanks to my brother Stefan, both halves are now done. We are ready to start working on assembly. We're gonna clean up this area here, lay it on the floor, hopefully get things jigged up so we can get it glued and drying. We got both halves joined with tape. We're gonna use that as a hinge to open it up, pack it full of hot glue and eventually Gorilla Glue, and then we're gonna lay it right back on the floor here. The floor is gonna be actually our jig to make sure the wings are both nice and level. My goal is to hopefully get this done and drying by the time my son Noah gets here, and then we can tackle the electronics. Hello! <laughs> Be good to blow out! Dude. <laughs> I'm just, you know, it's camping like, under my uh, you know, you giant can, airplane. You can camp like that in a Category 4 hurricane because it's just all aerodynamically going to press against the ground. Exactly. We're good. You're good? This is huge, it looks dude! It's easier to grab than the small one. Uh, oh my just like javelin. You can feel the play a little bit here, yeah, but like... Definitely got adjusted it. So do you guys see how the wings as he's running, how they're doing this? It would probably hold together, but we're gonna go ahead and run a brace that'll be really hard to see that's gonna increasingly get wider about two inches above here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make a triangle, which is incredibly strong. On top of that, I'm gonna pack this full of Gorilla Glue, possibly even some Instafoam to really make sure this base is really strong. I'm not so much worried about when it's flying because the gravity will take care of it, but say we go to do a loop, this is gonna wanna fold in on itself and, and that would be bad. We, we fold lots of wings here at Flight Test, so we're gonna throw it off the balcony. Yeah, so you guys know that when we get to a certain stage, it's good to do a glide test. This is one to see if it'll even glide. We did it with the small ones. We have servos on here, um, but we haven't put the motors on yet. Uh, before we do that, we figured we should try to chuck this thing and see how it glides. I, just to be honest, we're just doing it because we want to do it. It's also, it's selfishly, it's a huge paper airplane. Off the balcony. And I'd be mad at myself and probably a lot of you out there would be mad at us for not chucking this thing off of something, so that's what we're going to do. Is it going to fit? Fit yeah. through the door? And in an angle it will. Literally, it's going to have to go up against the building and then you guys are going to have to go mm, as far as you can. It's actually really light, which is encouraging. 
Uh, my only concern is if it does actually fly well, the little one almost went to the river. If it goes in the river, we may have to build this thing all over again. So. <laughs> well, I can try to chuck it maybe, but you want to help me throw? You want me to throw? You want me to catch? If you want to go down with Josh. You want to help me catch, Bob? Oh, yeah. And then, Whatever. And just in case it goes far. I'm going to chase it. He's <laughs> <laughs> always ready to just go off. <laughs> now, I'm wondering, we probably would be better off doing it from like right here. But if you look, we have a couple obstacles. We have a water hazard, just like a real golf course to the right. Picnic tables down below. Flagpole, right in the middle of the flight path. <laughs> and a willow tree over to the left. Uh, we're gonna have to thread the needle right through here and go right towards Josh and Bob down there. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We have to go to diagonal. Go out and in. The rigidity is quite remarkable on this paper. All right, this is gonna be the tricky part. All right, bro. So what I'm gonna do here, okay? This doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here, okay? I'm gonna get down here like this. Okay, I'm gonna get on this side. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just do a hop, hop, and chuck, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the heck out of the way. Okay? Yeah. Ooh, I feel pretty good about that. All right. But you have to tell me one, two, three, and then on three you go. Can you see this thing? This, this, this rod's gonna hit me in the face. Oh, I didn't even think about that rod. It's gonna crush me. Yeah, so. It's gotta go higher. All right, you ready? So I'm gonna let go on three. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We did it. It was very uneventful. <laughs> it worked. But the fact that it didn't hit a tree, it didn't hit a pole, was great. It didn't glide nearly as far as the smaller one. No. It's much heavier though. Yeah, but Josh did a perfect landing, flared it perfectly. Yeah. Dude. I'm feeling optimistic about this now. I think book. honestly you guys could chuck it a lot harder. Oh, you're gonna get I don't know how much harder we can, but uh, I'll try. What if, you each, what if each one of you get on both sides? So it's hold it, one, two, and then. All right. Let's try it here. Okay, so how many of you hold it and then I'll push at the back. You let me know when you're ready. Four, uh -huh. three. Ready! Have one! Hey, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. One, two. two. Okay. okay. Ready? One, two, three. Watch out, yeah, Bob! Bob. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> you almost killed Bob! <laughs> Bob was dying. The commitment level on Bob. Bob was gonna catch it. He was, he was like, watch out for why, why do we think it was a good idea to try to catch a paper airplane that size? It's 12 feet, man. <laughs> I'm six feet, man. Well, I'd say that's a success. So, yeah, that's a good uh, one. Next thing we gotta take it back in the shop, get it back up in here. And we're putting some motors on it. We're going with the Power Pack C. Super lightweight, so hopefully it should be enough power. And then uh, chuck it again and we're fly gonna it. take it up into the blue yonder. This okay. thing's awesome. I just love the size of it. Yeah. I'm gonna say that is our reality like said, that we're they, breaking they record right now. This was pretty much a, what, one day build? This is about, yeah, it's less than one business day. It that, started yesterday in the morning and it's, well, two business days now. Yeah. Sweet. But we'll take it. We'll That's take not bad. It. And I guess I'm gonna be launching it, huh? I was gonna, gonna be launching it. <laughs> let's pick the shortest person to launch the biggest paper airplane ever. <laughs> well, and there's a lot that we don't know here. We're using probably the smallest motors for the biggest plane. I think we just gotta, we just gotta put her in the air and see what happens. Gotta put her in the air. I'm just gonna chug her. You just chug her? Okay, well, we're at Ready Board Runway. What I want you to do is throw me toward Ready Made RC Runway because I think that's kind of where the wind is, but also if I have to bail, I can just go straight. <laughs> yeah, there's no so, trees that yeah, way, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, sir, Ready? let's do it. Good luck, sir. Here we go. All right. Watch the motors. <laughs> I got it. You got it? All right, he's All got right. it. Get your... All right, so where, where, where's the best way to launch this, That's David? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Give me a little bit nose high, more nose high. Okay, like this. And yeah. I'm pointing you right out this way? Yeah, yeah. Are you clear from the props? <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks ridiculous. Can I hold from here or no? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> goodness! Yes! She yes! Yes! She's not yes. overpowered! <laughs> She's also not turning to save its oh, life. No. I'm just going for altitude. So you're just getting out there. Just get it out there. What's going on right now? You, you think it's amazing. It's turning a little there. Maybe. Do you have any uh, do you have any up? Oh. 
Oh, come on back. Come on back, come on baby. baby. Come on, oh, come on. It's really far away. How far away am I? Oh, uh, you, you're no. over. No, you're not to the road yet. You're Please good. Don't go on top of the tree. You're oh, it's, it's angling right into the. You're good. No, you're going between the trees. You're good. Keep climbing. Oh you're my fine. god. Yeah. You're yeah. Fine. Yeah, dude. You're keep fine. going. Oh my god. Yeah, keep climbing. Keep climbing. I am a full you're throttle. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like yeah. a big air. Oh my god. You were behind the trees. You put the Hey, great way to put it through it, bud. I know. I had FPV, so I was. If you, did, if you didn't tell me where we were, I would not have known. You went right between the cameras. Oh my this goodness. Is, this is nuts. My heart is racing. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh. How does she feel? It's, it's not bad, except it doesn't turn. <laughs> it looks awesome. It's like a real paper airplane then. It goes where it wants oh to. <laughs> oh, my oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh jeez. It looks so ridiculous. It's, like, it's falling quickly. I am just... Just like <laughs> okay, we're gonna get it pointed back to us and we're gonna land it if we can. Oh my goodness. All right, where am I at? How Where's far? You're good. You're above trees, so you're coming back. You're coming back. Get a little bit more altitude. You're good. We keep it a little bit level. There you go. Oh yes. <laughs> perfect. He's flying me. Awesome. Awesome. First of you. Awesome. First of you yes. flying. You're perfect, Josh. Keep going. Keep it level. Bring it on home, Josh. Bring it on home. Oh my gosh. Oh oh my gosh. On the that is unbelievable <laughs> right now. Dude. I'm losing oh my, my marbles. Don't no, turn that way. Don't. No. no. Yeah. No. Go. You're done. Stay a little high. Stay. You level out. Level it out. You're right above the trees now, Josh. Yeah, I can turn see that. Turn left. <laughs> Come over. You just, turn left. It's, it's the thing. Josh. Oh, it won't go left. It's it. Where am I gonna hit? I don't, oh, you're gonna hit some trees. Some big trees. You're going straight over some big right. trees. <laughs> just like a real paper airplane. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> It's in the tallest tree. On the was, tallest I was I so excited because I was like, it's coming back. And oh then it just turned my right goodness, the dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's staying there. That's up there. Oh, we're going to go climb a tree right now. Oh uh, my gosh. Do we have to tell Alex about this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He's going to see sure, it. I was going to say see it. Why don't you tell him or not? He's going to see it. I'm well, coming back to land real all right, quick. Come back to oh land. we got to try to get a 12 foot paper airplane out of the tree. <laughs> All I pictured was honestly like, which neighbor's door am I knocking on? Yeah, right. And saying, can I get my paper airplane from the top of your house, please? <laughs> that thing that's bigger than, oh, oh my God. Dude, that's look so at high. this. No, check that out, bro. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> right there. This is insane. That was more terrifying than any other thing I've flown. <laughs> All right, so it flew great. It flew awesome. Landing hasn't happened yet, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I think we broke the record because yep. we didn't say the biggest paper airplane that would land. Nope. It was flying the biggest paper airplane. We definitely did that. And it flew. So we did that. All right. So friends, thank you for being part of the family. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to be taking on new challenges, new projects all the time, and we'll see you next time.